Hey guys, how is everyone doing? Hi. 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 Parents, if you can uh, change your profile name to the child's name, if you don't want to uh, do the uh, interactive with when we call out the child, then I know who they're. Well, maybe I have to sign in again. Yeah, you tired? They really need to click the button. Join the host a lot because there's a button that lets people not join before the host. Mm -hmm. Okay, parents, I muted everyone. Um, if you can please change your uh, the profile name to your child's name, that way I can try to call on them as we go through. Um, you should see there's a little three blue dots in the top right hand corner. You can click on that and you can change your name. Um, if you have your video on, then uh, when we go through, I'll, I'll try to uh, choose kids that uh, maybe didn't get on last week. Uh, do a little interactive learning here. So we're getting ready to start in just a second. All right. Hello, everybody. Let me wait until I get my volume down so I don't echo. How's everyone doing today? Can you guys wave? Okay. So if you're new to the reading corner and some of the things that we do, this might be something that you've never heard of before. But even if you, hold on. You guys could probably still see me. Um, even if you, um, aren't new to the reading corner and you know about trickster words, we got to talk about these trickster words this week because we've been talking about how trickster words like to trick us. And we've been using words like L-I-K-E, like, and T-H-E says, the, and you know what? They're not really tricking us anymore. So all of those words got kicked out of the trickster party because you guys know those words so well. Like, M Y says my and Y O U says you. But guys, when I was looking at the things we were going to do today, and I saw the trickster words that were that were here this week, I was like, "Oh boy, these are tricky, like really tricky." So we're going to be using these words for the next what three weeks, and then we take a one week break, and then we'll start back up in the summer. But we got a lot of work to do. So like, this is what the trickster house looks like. 
And we've got lots of new words. And these words are on that bubblegum sheet. So you guys don't have this yet. This is something that we're just going to do together. But I'm going to call on a couple of you because we really need to talk about these words. Okay, so unmute somebody. Let's talk about these first two words. The words are think and thank. Okay, Maddie. Um, where are you, Maddie? Maddie, do you know Maddie? And I'm gonna call on you, Emma, in a little bit too. Maddie, do you see anything that is the same about these two words? They both have T's. Hold on, I can't hear her. Say it again. They both have the same letters. What letters are the same? T. Do you remember that two-letter phonogram that says mm. What two-letter phonogram makes that sound? I see you, Nora. I'm going to call on you, too. The T-H. So, you guys, these words are kind of tricky because they look so much alike. You know what's the same about them is they both have the TH. Maddie, do you see a letter that is different? Look in the middle of the word. What letter is in the middle of this word? What letter is this? A. A, and what letter is this? A. I. I'm sorry, I was pointing the wrong one. So think and thank, and listen, even the kids in my class, we haven't really talked about these a lot. These are some trickster words. Okay, Maddie, I'm gonna show you two more really tricky words, okay? This one we've kind of seen before. The word, do you know what this word is, going? Do you know what this word is, G-O? Go. Go, so we can circle that. And that's going to help us not get tricked by this word. All right. Thanks, Maddie. I'm going to call on you in a little bit. Hey, Nora, are you still over there? Hey, Nora. I let's talk. Take the word and going. Hmm. What's this word, Nora? Help. Help. So this is a new trickster word that we're going to work on with today. Like, I want to help. My friends learn this word. Oh, but Matt, Nora, look at this word. Do you know what this word is? Again. Again. Do you see a word at the beginning of the word again? A. An A. An A is a beginning of a word. So like when we say this one, we're gonna go again, okay? So like when we say this word, I'll say, I say again. And you say, again, okay. And then when we say this word, thank, we're gonna go, ink, because it's got that A sound. And when we do the word, think, ink, 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 we're gonna go, ink, okay? Because we gotta have some tricks. So this new trickster word says, what does it say, guys? Again, this one's gonna be, ink, and this, I don't know why I'm going eh, 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 I, eh, I. I don't know. That one's kind of scared, weird because the I doesn't make the same one. And this one's going to go, ink. Got it? Okay. Do you want to see the other trickster words? And then we're going to play a game with these words, okay? This one's going to be easy because we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to jump. Can you do that? Go jump. So that one will be easy. But man, you guys, look at all these new words. They think they're gonna trick us. Okay, this is another word. It's there, e. So like if we say L-I-K-E, -E, like, this one makes a, the Y makes an E sound. And this one we're gonna go, must. That's my, that's my, my niece, Elsie says, must. Okay, so get out your bubblegum sheet for a second. You guys should have that in front of you if you, if you have the curriculum in front of you. So it's got that bubblegum, it's got all these new 
trickster words on it. And if you don't have it in front of you, it's okay. Um, where is my booklet of kindergarten week eight? Okay, so I'm gonna say a word and I want you to see if you can find that word on that bubblegum sheet. Ready? Find the word again. Remember, it's the one that has the A and it says again. Okay, you can just point to it. Okay, find the word must. Which word says must? Yep, it's that, that one right there. Okay, which one says jump? Jump. If these are tricking you, you guys, it's because they're really difficult words. So they're gonna trick us, but they're not gonna trick us for long because we are going to learn them, okay? What about the word help? The word help, point to it, okay? What about that word watch? These two are tricky. That one that says ink. Remember, it's got the A in the middle. Ink. Good. What about the word ink? Ink. We'll do that. Okay. And then G O going. Where's the word G O going? Okay. So listen, we're going to get back to these in a little bit, but. We're gonna to have to work really hard on these because they are having a woo woo party. They think they're gonna trick us for a long time. Do you think they're gonna trick us for a long time? We're gonna play a lot of games with them this week and next week and the next week because man, they are hard. Did you guys notice that there's, you guys have a morning message in the curriculum that you pulled up. Get out your morning message, look. It's gonna look like this. So now instead of, me having to ask you, you guys are gonna write in the ad, oh, Nora's got it. You're gonna write in the answers with me. How does that sound? Do you guys have these in front of you? I see them. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Ella. Hi, Madison. Okay, you ready? And then there's something really fun afterwards. Okay, you ready? It says, howdy, kids. Hmm. Hmm. Which two letter phonogram says ow, oh? I'm gonna show you two. Which of these two do you think says ow, oh? And you're gonna write it in that space. Ow, oh. If you wrote O-W, you're right. Howdy, kids. And look, it's already underlined. Because it's got that. Okay. Howdy, kids. Today. Do you know the two-letter phonogram that says A? If you remember it, write it. If not, I'm going to show you two options. Well, if I could find the one that says, I'll make a line on this one. Okay. Look at these two. Which of these two says a, write it. Okay, if you said A, Y, today, use your best handwriting, is Tuesday. Oh, I hear it again. It's the A, Y, again. Go ahead and write it. Today, is today Tuesday? Yeah, it is Tuesday. <laughs> That's the plan one. Today is Tuesday. You are, ooh, I think I left, I left the word you off. You are, do you see a two-letter phonogram that says R? Underline that two-letter phonogram. Charlotte sees it. Logan, do you see it? Underline the A-R, good job, buddy. Okay, R, go, oh my goodness. This is one of the trickster words that we just talked about. G O going. Guys, circle it. We don't want it tricking us. Make sure you circle that. Angeline, I see you working hard. 
are going to G O what? Go. Write the word go. Go on a, oh, that's a long word, you guys. Let me say that word for you. Scavenger. What word did I say? Scavenger. We're going to go on a, oh, do you guys remember, we talked about this last week, that there is a two-letter phonogram. Remember, it was kind of silly because it says, er, most common bossy R. Do you guys remember which one that was? It's the ER. We've just kind of started talking about that. Scavenger, hunt. Oh my goodness. Do you see that word today? Do you see the A at the end of the word? Dash, you see it? Dash, you look tired today. Hi, Claire. Claire, can you write the, um, underline the A-Y on today? You got it? Okay, make sure you write it. Fill in mm list. Whew. What word do you think goes there? Fill in T-H-E says the. Can you write it? The. Okay. Claire, I'm going to unmute you and I'm going to have you help me. Can you help me? I miss you, girl. Okay, ready? Fill in the list on, <gasps> THC says the, what is that? It's a, uh, what is it? It's a trick, <laughs> it's a trickster word. So we got to circle it. Claire, can you circle it on your paper? The, yeah. Claire, there's a letter missing. Next. What letter is missing? What letter is missing? What letter is missing there? What letter is missing in the word next? Can you see? What letter is missing? What makes the t, t, t sound? What letter is missing in the word next? Do you see it? Claire, what letter makes this sound? Is it a T or an S? What makes the t, t sound? P. P. Good job. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna need some more help, Claire. You ready? Next page. Have. What letter makes the sound? Tell her. What letter goes? Is it an F or an H? H. H. But listen, boys and girls, watch. You got to make sure you put a capital H there. Oh, let's read this again. Today is Tuesday. Read it with me. This was say you, but I forgot that word. You are going to go on a scavenger hunt today. Did you hear that? Today. You're going to go on a scavenger hunt. Fill in the, oh, I forgot to circle the, this is a trickster word, list on the next page. Have fun. Oh, this is a question. Okay. Emma, I'm going to ask you what your, this answer is. Have, what is your fave or... Okay, Emma, where are you? I need help with these words, Emma. Look, it says, what is your favorite sweet? What letter makes the s sound? You say? S, good job. Sweet. Oh, Emma, this is gonna be a blend. It's gonna have two letters. It's gonna say t -er. What two letters make those sounds? What says this? T -t -t -t. She say it. Say it, lo say it louder. What sound makes the t sound? T. T. And what sound makes the r sound? R. R. Okay, guys, write both of those. 
eat. Ooh, eat. Oh, and then it says mine. Emma, what sound do you hear at the beginning of mmm? What letter makes the mmm sound? M. M. Good job. So you guys can finish color writing all these in while I think. So you guys finish. You've got my paper right here. I need to think about what my favorite treat is. Hmm. I really like donuts. I don't really eat treats a lot. I really like ice cream. I really like brownies. I think I'm gonna put, what do you think we're gonna put on this sheet? Emma, what do you think's gonna go on this sheet? Bubble. What kind of treat would go in this thing? Bubble gum. Gumballs, yep. I, my favorite treat is bubble gum. You guys go ahead and write in what your favorite treat is. And if you don't know how to sound it out, you can just draw a picture. Bubble, I'm not writing very nicely down here. It's kind of hard. Bubble gum. All right, so guys, listen. On your next page, you have a scavenger hunt. Nora, I bet you're gonna do this today. You aren't doing it right now. I want you to show me it tomorrow. But look, you're gonna go look for all these things. So like when you had to look for chairs, this is when tally marks really come in, like are very useful. Because you can look around here and go, oh, there's a chair and make a tally mark. And then, oh, there's a chair and make a tally mark. And remember, when you get to five, you make a dive. Are you guys gonna go on this scavenger hunt later? So fun, right? Okay, now I'm ready to play a game with these trickster words before we move on to math. So, remember last week? So we have two bubble gum machines and I'm gonna be asking some of you to help me, so get ready. We're gonna play a game. This is my bubble gum machine. This is Miss Karen's, and this is yours, okay? And we're gonna see who fills their bubble gum machine faster. So I have two different jars. This is gonna be mine. This is gonna be yours. And I'm gonna call on some of you to help me, okay? Call on one of our new, our new friends. Now, if you don't know these words, it's okay, because these are our new trickster words. Okay, let me find you, buddy. What's his name, Brayden? Hi, Brayden. Hi. Hi, buddy. Talk Hi. really loud, okay? Because the lawnmower is going outside and I can't really hear you. Okay, okay so Brayden, you're gonna start. This is one of those new trickster words. Remember it says, what's that word? Oh, I love. They think. They think. Say it. Say it. <laughs> they think. <laughs> you're so silly. Okay, I'm gonna ask you another one. So, Brayden, your team got a gumball. Go, woo! These are your gumball machines. But now you're gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick one from mine, and you're gonna have to tell me what it says. These are really hard words. That's why we're practicing them all week. Oh, so that was the word think, Brayden. Do you remember what this one is? A. A. What is it? Is it think or think? Think. Think. Got the A. Okay. Think. Good job. All right, so I have a point. Hey, Brayden. Oh, aren't those so cute? Okay. Brayden, your, your team's turn. Oh, this is the one that you actually get to get up and do that. What's this word? J, j, j. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Yep. Jump. Oh, I think I, I'm always sitting on a marker. Okay, so you guys have two, and I only have one. Jump. Okay, Brayden, I'm gonna ask you one more of mine. 
Oh, this is that new one we just talked about. G O go. What is this word? Say going. going. You say going. 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 Good job. Okay, let's find another friend. I don't know. It's still a tie. Thanks, Brayden. Kate, where is Kate? It's you, Kate. Hi, Kate. How are you? Kate, talk loud because there's a garbage, a, a lawnmower. Where do you live, Kate? Uh, in Florida. You live in Florida? We live in Florida too. Okay, Kate, do you remember what this word says? Sound it out. So hard. Let me sound it out. Very. -e. What's that word? Very. Very. Good job. Okay, you guys get another point. All right. Do you remember this one? E. C. Ink. Ink. Think. Oh my goodness, it's still a tie. Hey, Kate, hey. let's count how many gumballs are on yours. Your team. Can you count them? One, two, three. Three. Yep. Okay, can you count how many are on mine? One, two, three. Yeah. All right. So it's my team's turn. We're just going to play a couple more. Okay, is that mine? Do you remember what this word is, Kate? Go ing. Going. Going. Good job. I think that goes on mine. All right. Oh, no, look. I can't get this one because I already have going on mine. So I lose a turn. Okay. Let's do another one for your team. Listen to this word. M must. 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 Okay. Our get time's up for our game because we got to move to math. Let's see all of you count. Grace, I see you dancing over there. Let's all count. Thanks, Kate, for your help. Let's see how many points you guys got. I'm going to actually give you the word going. Okay? Let's count them. Claire, let me see you counting. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many I got. One, two, Three. Did you guys win or did I win? You won. I see you cheering. Okay. Man, those hard, the words are hard, right? So I want you guys to get your paper ready. When we come back to me, we are going to do this. Okay, so get that ready. And then we are going to do our um handwriting so make sure you get that handwriting sheet ready all right but for now you guys are going to go to math with miss jen so you guys can get this paper ready okay so she's going to have this on the board you're going to be using these but she's going to go in order so that you guys can really pay attention and color those in on this paper while she's going so get those papers ready you guys did a great job i'll see you in a little bit Hi friends. Okay, so we're gonna do math today. In math, we're gonna do mo one more and one less. So like Miss Karen said, to get your activity sheets ready, you need um, this sheet right here, and you need this sheet also. So we're gonna go in order, and we are going to use, I know, up here, I have a number line, and I know that in math, we talked about how number lines can be a math tool that we use. So we are going to use my number line up here to do one more and one less. Are we ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Yeah, Ruhani's ready. I see her ready. Oh, Olivia's ready. All right. So if you just have a pencil, that's fine. You can color with a pencil. You can, if you have a crayon handy, you can use a crayon. I'm gonna use a crayon today. I'm gonna to use a red crayon. So, our first problem, 
on our sheets is one more than 12. And we need to think right now. What's one more than 12? So I'm gonna come up here to my number line. I'm gonna look at the number 12, right? I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna hop one over. What number does that leave me with? Point on your paper. Find on your paper if you can. Oh, did you guys see 13? Is it 13? So I'm gonna color the number 13 because one more than 12 is 13. So I'm not going to color the whole thing in right now. I'm just going to color in the number. And when we're done, you guys can go back and color in the shape. <gasps> Who can tell me what shape that is? What shape is that? What do you think? It's a, it's a rhombus. You're right. It's a rhombus. Very good. Okay. Our next one on our paper is going to be now one less than 12. We did one more than 12. Now we want to do one less than 12. So are we going to hop on our number line? Are we going to hop forward or are we going to hop backwards? What do you think? We're Jen, can you hear me? Yes. Let's, let's ask, let's, yeah. uh, Let's ask somebody and I'll put them on. Okay. Okay. We're gonna um, go to. Can we do Angeline? Uh, we got. We're gonna do Asher. Oh, Asher. Okay, Asher. Do you know what one less than twelve would be? Eleven. Eleven. Very good. Can you guys find eleven on your paper? <gasps> There's two elevens, aren't there? So, are we gonna color both of them? Probably not. Nope. So just pick one right now to color. I'm going to color the triangle. 11. Great job, Asher. You're so smart. All right, friends. Now let's do the next one is one more than 11. What's one more than 11? I want you to think. I'm going to call on somebody. We're gonna go Olivia C. Okay. Olivia. Olivia, what's one more than eleven? Um one more. Twelve. Wow! Wow, awesome. You rock. Okay. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna find everybody find twelve on your reaper. Oh, is there more than one twelve? Yeah. So guess what? You get to pick whatever twelve you want. You can pick the oval, or you can pick the trapezoid. I'm gonna pick the trapezoid. I'm gonna color my 12. Remember, we don't have to color the whole thing in right now. You guys can just color it in a little bit and then you can go back after, okay? All right. Oh, ooh, this one's getting tricky now. It says one less than eight. I'm gonna go to my eight. I'm gonna go one less. Am I gonna hop forward? Or am I gonna hop backwards? What do you think? I'm gonna hop backwards. So what's one less than eight? What's one less than eight? We're gonna, we're gonna uh, ask Anaya. Anaya, what's one less than eight, sweetheart? You can talk. What's one less than eight? Seven. Seven. Seven, awesome, great job, Anaya. So everybody find seven on your paper. Find it and color it in. What shape is that? That's a, what? What is that, Anaya, do you know what that is? Do you know what shape that is? It's a hexagon, right? Hexagon. <laughs> All um, right. Now we're going to do one more, one more than 15. One more than 15. Wow, we're getting into big numbers now. One 
more than 15. So we're gonna go to 15, I'm gonna go one more. I wanna see, I'm not even gonna show you it. I wanna see if you can do it. One more than 15, who knows that? We're gonna see if Emerson knows it. Emerson, do you know what one more than 15 is? 16. Yeah. You rock, kiss your brain, Emerson. You're doing amazing. So everybody right now, find 16. 16, that's a parallelogram. So color in 16, awesome job. All right, one less than nine. What's one less than nine? Let's see. Let's see right. if you guys can. Grace. Oh, Grace. Grace. Okay, let's ask the question one more time. Grace, one less than nine, sweetheart. Thank you. One less than nine. Here's nine. There's nine. What's one less? But one less. Uh, here's nine. One less. What's, <clears throat> no, one the other way, backward. Eight. Yes. Tell Eight. Me. Oh my Eight. Job. Eight. Seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. I want everybody now to find eight. Find eight on your paper. <gasps> Is that eight? Shake your head yes or no. Is that eight? No, the eight is a what shape? A star. So we need to color an eight. Good job. Awesome. Okay, what's one more than 10? One more than 10. What is it? What's one more than 10? I bet the Brennan girls know. The Brennan girls. What's one more than 10? Wait, what, what? Eleven. Eleven! Kiss your brains. You guys are amazing. Eleven. So we're gonna look on our paper and we're gonna find an eleven. <gasps> it's shaped like a rectangle. Eleven. Awesome. You guys are so smart. Okay, what is one less than 19? One less than 19, what is so, it? Angeline. Angeline, what's one less than 19, girl? Eighteen. Eighteen, wow, I can tell you've been keeping up with your math. Good job, eighteen. So we're gonna look, oh, I found 18. Did everybody find 18? Thumbs up if you found 18. Oh, awesome, let's color it. Good job, friends. Okay, what is one more than five? One more than five. What is one more than five? We're gonna ask Charlotte. This color? I think Charlotte, what's one more than five? Color. Six. Six. Six, good. Six, one more than five is oh. six. Good job. We need to color our six in. Find your six and color it in. Good job. All right, friends. What's one less? Then 15. One less than 15. That's dash. Dash. What's one less than 15? One less than 15. 14. 14. Awesome job, Dash. Good job. So everybody's going to look on your paper and find the 14. And you're going to color it in. Good job, friends. 14. Awesome. What's one more than 11? One more than 11. What's one more than 11? Ella. Ella, what's one more than 11? Uh, this right oh. bottom one? Mm -hmm. You can tell her. They can hear you now. Oh. What's one more than 11, sweetheart? 
12. 12, good job, kiss your brain, so smart. So you're gonna find, everybody right now, find 12. Find 12, we're gonna color it in. And we're gonna do our last one. One less than 10. What's one less than 10? It's our last number on our board. I want to see if Lo Logan knows. Logan. All right. What's, Logan. It? What's one less than 10, sweetheart? Nine. Nine. Good job. One less than 10 is nine. Hi, I'm Logan. We're going to color it in. Everybody color it in. Oh, guess what, though? We're not done yet. We're done with this part. But we're going to do another activity for math. So can you do me a favor? Can you take your paper and <gasps> turn it over? Can you flip it over? We're going to practice writing some numbers, OK? I have some numbers that I'd like us to all practice. So you can use your crayon, you can use your pencil, whatever you have there, whatever writing tool you have, OK? I'm going to write it up here on the board, but you guys can write it on the back of your paper. Are we ready? All right. And you know what? This is great to practice because especially in kindergarten, you're going to write numbers all day long. So it's great to practice our numbers. All right. I have the number. We're going to practice the number two. So this is what, I, what I'm going to ask you to do. Put your pencils down right now and look at me writing the number two. We're going to go over the, the saying for number two. And then I'm going to write it, not you yet. You're not going to write it yet, OK? So put your pencils down, and let's listen. So for number two, it says, for number two, go right around, then make a line across the ground. OK, ready? <gasps> Watch me. We're, you're not writing yet. You have your pencils down. You're watching me. For number two, go right around. Then make a line across the ground. Okay, now it's your turn to do it with me. Ready? For number two, go right around. Then you make, then make a line across the ground. Just like that, okay? So we're gonna do it one more time together and then you guys can practice on your own after we're done, okay? For number two, go right around, then make a line across the ground. Just like that, okay? So we're gonna stop for num with number two right now and we're actually gonna move on to number three. Three is a really, I love three. I love this, the little saying for it. it says, around a tree, around a tree, that's the way we make a three. So put your pencils down for a minute because I'm going to show you and then we'll do it together. Ready? <gasps> around a tree, around a tree, that's the way we make a three. Okay, ready guys? Ready? Oh, so pick up your pencil, we're gonna do it together. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way we make a three. Awesome job, and let's do it one more time. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way we make a three. Awesome job. Now we're gonna do a number four. And remember, you guys can keep practicing your numbers after we're done, when, after writing time with Miss Karen, okay? You guys can go back and practice. Okay, mm -hmm. number four says, down and over, down once more. That's the way we make a four. Ready? I'm gonna show you, so pencils are down. Pencils are down, ready? Down and over, down once more. That's the way we make a four. Ready? Can I see your pencils in your hands? Ready to write? Remember the pinchy grip too. Okay, ready? 
Good job, Angelina. I see your pinchy grab. Good job. Ready? Down and over. <gasps> Down once more. That's the way we make a four. Let's do one more time. Ready? <gasps> Down and over. Down once more. That's the way we make a four. Good job, friends. Right, now we're gonna do number five. Are we ready for number five? Number five says, so put your pencils down. It says, go down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line on top. Okay, watch me, pencils are still down, ready? Ready, go down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line at the top. Okay, let's do it together, ready? Get your pencils ready. Down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line on top. Okay, so one more time. Down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line on top. Awesome job, friends. So what you guys can do, like I said, you guys can keep practicing, okay? Keep practicing writing your numbers because you're going to use them all the time. You write numbers all day long, all the time. All right, thanks, Jen. Yeah, bye. All right, guys, I can Okay. Let me get all my echoing out. Okay, we got a couple more things to do, but we got to get some wiggles out, right? So we're going to practice phonograms, and every time you see a yellow jelly bean, you're going to get up and jump, right? Okay, we're just going to practice letters today. I say d, you say, good job. I say k, you say, I say a, uh, you, uh. You say a, uh, you, uh. I say rrr. You say, huh, jelly bean. Everybody get up. Okay, we're gonna jump to 20. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Even Mr. Andy was jumping. How silly is that? Okay. I say, buh. you say, I say, mmm, you say, Jelly bean, everybody get up. Okay, we're gonna count by fives, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Whoa, that was hard. Jack's laughing at us over here. I think Jack should come over and jump. I say ah, oh, ooh, you say ah, O U. I say t. You say. I say. S. You say. Oh, sorry. I was. My bad. Listen. I say. S. Z. You say. <gasps> Jelly bean. Everybody get up. We're gonna count by. What do we count by? Tens. Ready? Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, okay, go sit down. I say, you say, I say, you say. <gasps> Last jelly bean, Jack, come over here. Jack's gonna come jump with us, ready? Everybody jump, we're gonna count by 
fives again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 100. No, 90, 95, 100. Miss Karen doesn't even know how to count. How silly is that? Okay, so we got our wiggles out. We got two more things to do. You guys go ahead and get this paper out. Now it's kind of hard to do. So I'm gonna go really slow and do one of them. So if you just wanna watch while we do this one, that's okay. Or if your parents wanna cut, um, print out another one, if the writing is a little bit challenging, they can print it out and then you can just kind of mix it around to get to the right um, things. So we're gonna unmute someone. And we're gonna ask someone, how do we know what word comes first? Listen to her. Ruhani, what yeah. does the first word always have? Do they have a? The. Capital. The. Hold on, honey. Hmm. It is the word the. And what word, what does the word the, all, what does the beginning letter always have? A lowercase? Or a capital letter? Capital. A capital letter. Great. Okay, so everybody write. I see Ella's putting it on her hand too. Write the word the, but make sure you're writing the one that has the capital letter. The. And then I just like to cross it out. All right, Ruhani, this is the, set, the word I'm looking for. The word is a b. What word did I say? Cub. Cub. Oh, remember, good writers put stomps between their words. Stomp. So I'm going to find the word cub and I'm going to write it. Uh, book. And remember, guys, if I'm going too fast, you can slow down and you can do it later. The cub. Hey, Ruhani, do you know the trickster word that says W E N T? Went. Went. Good job. Okay. What do we put it between our words? Good writers put stomp. Ready? W E N T. Hmm. The cub went. Let me cross out the words. To. Let me think. Rahani, should I say the cub went the in tub? or the cub went in the tub? Say it. The, cub in, the cub went in the tub. In the tub, you're right. Okay, so everybody find the word in, put a stomp, good job. In, oh, and we know how to spell that word. T-H-E says the, Tub, tub, and we need to put a period at the end of our sentence. Okay, now I'm gonna leave the other two for you guys to do, because I, you guys are like, you're smart. And so a lot of times I just like to show you how to do something so that you've got stuff that you can do afterwards, okay? So we're gonna do our handwriting and then you guys get to go on your scavenger hunt. You excited about that scavenger hunt? I can't wait to see it. All right, so get out your handwriting paper. Okay, ready? The first letter is the word S. Now, watch me first. Everybody, put your hands on your head. I see Rahani doing it. Angeline, put your hands on your head, Dax. Dash. Okay, ready? I see you, Claire. Okay, start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Now you do it. Do it on your paper. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Good, now, do you see that there's a little space to do another one? Try to do one all on your own. Start at two o'clock, Around, down, touch the bottom line. Okay, awesome. Okay, hands on your head. 
Let's do another one. Watch me. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Okay, now you try another one. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Good job, Emerson. Good job, Kate. Okay, now there's that space right next to it. Try to do another one. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Okay, now circle your best one. Okay, ready? My turn. Hands on your head, quick. Hands on your head. I see you, Logan. Good job. Okay, ready? The T goes like this. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. Now you guys try it. Try it on that black one. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. Okay, try another one. So in that, that space, there's a little empty space, so try it again. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. I see you, Maddie, good job practicing. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. I wanna see you practicing, Maddie. Good job. Okay, circle your best one. Now we're gonna try that A. Hands on your head. Hands on your head. I love the A. You guys probably, I think you have a little green dot. Let me see what yours says. Yep, so you're gonna start on that green dot. Watch me first. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Now you try it. Good job, Olivia. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Do another one. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Good job, Anaya. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, circle your best one. All right, now we're gonna go to our M. Watch me first, hands on your head. I see you, Anaya, put your hands on your head. Hands on your head, Asher. Okay, watch me first. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Now you try. Short line down, come up and make a hump. Emma, get started. Come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Nora, are you working? Put your thumb up. Good job, okay. All right, do another one. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Try one more. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. All right, great job. Okay, last one. Hands on your head. Nora, let me see your hands on your head. Good job, Emma. Okay, watch me. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, make a hook. Okay, you try it. Emma, stop yawning. I see you yawning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, try one on your own. Emma, hands off your head, try it on your own. Straight line, start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, come up and make a hook. Try another one. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, come up and make a hook. Okay, you guys, we did a lot today. I want you to practice those new words on that bubble gum machine. So have your mommy and daddy say like, find the word very, or find the word must. So you can practice that a couple of times. Who's gonna go on their scavenger hunt? When you go on your scavenger hunt, I want your mommies or daddies to send me a picture. Nora's gonna do it. Send me a picture on Reading Corner Online and I will post it. Or you can hold it for tomorrow and I'll have all of you hold it up. 
okay? So, got a lot done. You've got some work that you can finish. Um, you've got, and parents, it, there's a lot of extras that are in that um, work as well. There's so much kindergarten stuff that I made that I just don't have time to go through it all um, during the actual hour. But remember, use those book charts because those book charts are gonna get you extra iPad time or something like that. And most of you know what that is by now. I miss you, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Nora, you're coming back on tomorrow, right? Okay, Emma, I'll see you guys. Angeline, um, Dash, Asher, Logan, so many of you. Ruhani, we'll see you tomorrow, Claire, and um, have a great rest of the day. Bye, guys.